don't know. I can't really say. I saw something. Well, what did you see? Animal, bed or beast? I'm not sure. I am going to go outside there and see whatever it is made no, man or woman. Nobody in this village will succeed to make us live in fear again. Not after all, all this trouble and noise they've been making over an incident that was hardly your fault. No, give way, give way, give way. This is it. Who is there? Who is there? I can't see anything here. Huh? Papi, what did you say you saw? Because me, I can't see anything. Everything has gone away. Gone away to where? <laughs> I saw something. Where is the something you saw? <laughs> Papi, you're now the one acting like a pregnant woman. No? You're now the one hallucinating and seeing things when there's nothing. I eh? saw something. So where is the something? Oh, I saw something. <laughs> there is nothing here. Eh? Chino is very good to see you scared. No, it's not as if I'm scared. Though. I'm not scared. No, you're scared, Papi. You should see the look on your face. I am. I am not scared. <laughs> you know what? Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go inside. There is nothing here, eh? This way, you're not nagging and complaining and see. For a man, come out or I'll shoot. I said, come out. coming to you and you have been running away from me. That does not make my spirit happy. Can I be with you for a while? Keep you company? From the restless spirit of the woman you once loved long ago, I have found no peace in the land of the spirit. I killed myself, so I am condemned to walk the earth and roam the air till the time for my judgment comes. But you're dead and I'm still alive. There is no way you can keep me company. You once loved me long ago, or have you changed? No, but you see, the living and the dead don't have the dead, they're not on the same sphere again. I mean, we 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 were two separate worlds. If you keep saying these things to me and running away from me, you make me angry. And my anger you cannot handle. I will go. But I will come back. And when I do, please be good to me. For I still want to see you. I still love to see the man whom I once loved as a living girl. We, we cannot be together. We live in separate worlds now. The land of the living and the land of the dead. So please don't come.
Hey. What is it? Bring water. Pour water. Pour water. Pour water. Hey. Hey. Oh yo, come on. Oh yo. Come, come, come. He has opened his eyes. Thank God he has opened his eyes. Papi, papi, papi. Where am I? Am I dead? God forbid. Papi, you are alive and you're in your compound. Obins and Awada found you lying in the bush unconscious. They quickly brought you home. Since then, we've been trying to revive you. What happened to you? What happened, Papi? It was inside the house. But now, tell us, what happened to you? We found you lying helplessly in the bush. Almost dead. I took him go. I... I suddenly felt so weak. The last thing I remember... The, the, the last thing I remember, my gun falling. Ow! My gun. <laughs> um, Chineke, please. What he needs is rest. Yes. So let's take him inside. Let's take him so inside, inside please. Have hey! Chineke, thank you. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That while I was pregnant, the father suddenly died to fear. Thank God. Though. Please take him inside. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly make him something to eat. Please. Okay, please, please do. Hmm. Lord. Do you remember that girl? He went back, the one who died. Of course, I remember her. I saw that girl. You saw a ghost? Do such things still happen these days? How do you expect me to believe that? Believe it. A lot of things happen these days, you know? In fact, if somebody rushes in here to tell you that cockroaches are now eating human beings, wrong. If it is true, you will be safe to tell the story. If it's a lie, you have nothing to lose. A lot of things are happening. I said I saw that girl today. Papi, what is your point? My point is that I saw a ghost. And I spoke to a ghost. You know the worst? She said that she still loves me. And that she will continue to visit me. It is herself she will visit. Not my husband. To fear for. Papi, please, don't start. Listen, listen, Listen to what? I can't hear anything, Papi. Are you all right? But, so, where do you think you're going to? Eh? Even if there's a ghost outside, what do you think you can do about it? You, it is me that she wants. Let me go and confront her. Do you think if she wants to come in, all these things will stop her from coming? What kind of ghost is this? No worries. Somebody has died, she won't leave me. So, what now? Nothing. I've only come to be with you a little. Stay with me a little. It's a lonely existence for me now. Stuck in the middle passage. The dead to my right and the living to my left. 
I came left to see you and to be with you. Why? Why do you seek me? Why, why do you seek the living? You're dead. You still live in me. I died carrying your child. In my spirit, I still carry your child. Come. Come with me. Let's get out of here. Let's take a walk. You and I, together again. No. Are you refusing me? The dead has no business walking with the living. You're dead. You don't have business walking with the living. Don't say that. Do not remind me that I have no life. Papi! Papi, why are you doing all this? You are living in a world of imaginations and you are losing your mind. Is that what you think? You think I'm losing my mind? You think I'm mad? That I'm crazy? I'm telling you, I saw her, I spoke with her. She spoke with me. And you're telling me I'm losing my mind. Is that all you can think? I am losing my mind. Hey. What is this? What kind of problem is this? Hell! Mazi, the greater good. <coughs> Hang this in the hut. Which of the hut where she stays? Yeah, in that hut now, where she stays. The maiden that died lived in that hut. Yes, of course. Eh? Of course. Hey. Now, when you hang it, clean out that hut very, very well so that you break the link between her and you. Eh? Yes. Then gather all her belongings inside her hut. Take them inside the bush and bury them. And bury them, not burn eh, them. Eh, don't burn, bury them. Make sure you put a yellow palm frond, yellow palm frond in a hole. Yellow palm from uh, in the hole in the before hole. you be, you cover it. Then burn incense in that hole. If you burn incense, it will chase the spirit of the maiden away. The spirit of the maiden lives in that hole from where she comes to pay you visits. Buruka, buruka. Kete. Kete. I respect you, greater God. Do it. In fact, it will be done exactly the way you have instructed. Do it. You say it is yellow. Uh, palm palm from, from, yellow palm from in the hole inside, inside the hole yeah. before you cover. Then burn incense. Then I burn incense. Yeah. Okay, okay. 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 It shall be done. Do it. It shall be done. Do it. Ha! Oh, come on, we can do it. You never know we can do it, sir. You never know we can do it, sir. You know. You never know we can do it, sir. What was the matter? Someone in there. Who? Oh. Oh, someone in where? I don't know. I, I saw no one, but I felt a presence. <laughs> it's just fear. 
<laughs> is the mind. Nobody is there. Greater God gave me something like hunger on that wall. There is no way she can enter here until we finish whatever we're doing. Hey, wait, Papi, you <laughs> really must trust this, your great Agonti. Oh, yes, I do. Or would you rather I do the interior and you do the exterior? <sighs> Don't worry. Let me go and continue from where I stopped. You just <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Talk of fear. My wife is dying. Come, help me save my wife. My wife is dying. My wife is dying. What do you want? What do you want, Ibuma? You want to kill my wife? You cannot. You want to destroy my family? This time around, Ibuma, I am going to fight you soul to soul. Willpower to willpower. Foot by foot, I will fight you. You think you can leave me and be happy? No, I will not let you. You and I have parted company. I want you to go your own way. Let me go my own way. You are dead. I'm leaving. You are stuck with me. You said you love me. Those words bind you to me. I can hear her. Mm -hmm. I can now hear her. It is a lie. Tell her it is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. I will destroy you. I will rise in my anger. I will strike your wife. And no one can save you from my hands. Because you don't live. Uh -huh. I thank you. I'm on my knees. Don't let her get to my wife. I will revive her. You are with the great God. I trust ha! you. I will give you something that will make sure that that evil one doesn't disturb her. Thank you, Uruke Uruke. Thank you. Ntu! Ntu! Ntu, I believe in you. You know? She can you see? The way she was pursued. She can't get, she has no powers over us now. Even we can't do it. Oh, 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 
and see she is now cooling down. Eh? Mazi, I will give you something very strong that will make sure that the evil one never gets to her again. But Buruke, that was what you said last time. When you gave me that thing, you said I should hang on the wall. Eh. It didn't stop her from, from, from coming. Eh. It didn't stop her from causing havoc. Buruke, please, if you want to give me, give me something that will work. Eh, Mazi, because that time I didn't know her. Now I can hear her and I know her power and energy. Do you hear me? I will do it. Trust me. If, if you can, if you're sure you can, if you cannot, let me go to these church people and see if I can invite them before it becomes too late. <laughs> church. Church. <laughs> you are not a church man, you don't go to church. Everybody in this village knows that. Suppose you go and call the church people and they refuse to come. If I tell them it's a matter of life and death, I think they will consider me. <laughs> uh, uh, suppose they come. How are you sure that they can drive away that uh, evil spirit? Tell me. Eh? Yeah? Trust me, Amazi. I will do it. Do you hear me? All right, if huh? you say so. Mazi, look at me. I will change her spirit. Hmm? I will change her spirit so that she can never get out of that grave again. Do you hear me? If you say so. Call her name three times and strike your palm three times at the head of the grave. After that, I begin the process of chaining her spirit. After chaining her spirit, she will never leave this grave forever to come and disturb you anywhere until both of us grow old and die. Okay. Mazi! The love of my life. Eh? I'm not hearing me. Do it now. Go ahead and look. I will not do it. Eh? I can't. Mazi. This was a girl who was in love with me. We had an emotion. Eh? Why will I come and change her soul and spirit? For what? Ma. That would be so wicked of me. Ha. Her soul and her spirit, I want to be free. How can I do that to her? I mean, I even have her in my memory now. All good memories, no bad memory. So why should I come and punish her? It is not her soul that we are chaining. It is her spirit that comes out here to come and disturb you. That is the one we are chaining. What is it? Now, nah, God, it is the same thing. Soul and spirit is just the same thing. And I can't do it to her. And that is it. In fact, if she lies, let her come and kill me. Let her come and tell her I said that. Hey. I'm tired of all this nonsense. Let her come and kill me. Let me die. Masi, Masi, wait. So, what of your wife and the, the, the unborn child? Are you not thinking about them? Look, their lives are not in my hands. It is in God's hands. I don't have control over their life. Do I? Let her come. I'm ready. Ma, I see. Ma.
I can't run away from you any longer. This torment is too much. If you want to kill me, kill me. Let me die. Let me rest so that you can rest. What is this? Why would I continue to run from you and you continue to torment the life of, of, of myself and my family? Kill me. This is a good position to die. So that you can rest and I too can rest. When I get to the land of the spirit, I can now release my wife, whom you have made so unconscious. So kill me, what are you waiting for? I'm ready to die in your hands. When he came to my grave in the afternoon with the native doctor, I was there. I saw you. And it calmed my spirit to see that you're still a man full of compassion. Your refusal to change my spirit was good. For if you did, I would have broken free. For my spirit is an angry one. For now, I am calm. And I have not come to take your life. Still, my spirit will torment you day and night. And your wife shall remain in coma. Unless you go to my grave. Pack a handful of sand and journey far away to my village. Find my deserted home and drop the sand there. Do this for me, Papi. Take Ibema home to her land and have peace. But I don't know your land. I don't know your land. You never told me where you come from. So how can I find it? Ask. Inquire. Seek a village called Abogi. Okay, if I want... I hope all is well though, because she she's not even. <clears throat> you know, she has not eaten since yesterday when this thing happened. If she goes without food, she will die, you. They say you should take her to hospital so that they can give her a drip. It is a matter of hospital now. Before you travel. Eh? Look at it. It is, it is plain. Go and call the um, this hospital people, nurse. Eh? Let the nurse come with their motor. 
to carry her. Two of us cannot carry her to the hospital. It is far. Hmm? Look at it. They say you should bring the take her to hospital. That's all. Hmm? Bring the people with their motto. What is it? Come down. This is the road to Abogi. I should come down. Yeah. So which means it's very close. Follow you straight. Down, 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 down. Yeah. But is it safer? It's far now. Hey, I paid you to take me to, to that place now. Take me to that place. No. I can't take you there. What are you my bike spoil there? Who's going to repair it for me? You mean I have to walk this distance? Hey, but what are you going there to do? Is it any of your business? I'm looking for direction to uh, Abogi. I don't know where I missed my track somewhere. It's down that way. That's where I'm going to. That's where you're going? Yeah. Ah! May God be praised. Are you from that area? Yes, I am. Eh. Then you must know Ibemma. She comes from that place too. She's a servant girl who used to do some, you know, services in uh, other villages. I know her. Oh, really? Yes. I mean, who doesn't know her in this village? They say she has eyes like a dull moon. It is her place that I'm going now. <laughs> oh, I thank God for giving me a guide. I, you didn't tell me your name. Alice. Alice. And you? Why people like you call me Papi? <laughs> oh, uh, Igwema is a foolish girl in this town. Igwema was a terrible girl in this town. Always running to live with men from other lands. That's a very wrong thing to say about a girl. And a girl that has made me tell all these all, all these things, all this while. That I'm stressing all these things is because of this girl. And this is what you're saying. You're, you're just describing a girl just like that. A tramp. Why do you even seek her home? It's none of your business, my business. Eh. Why do you ask? I guess I miss my way. Eh? I must have taken the wrong turn at some point. So what do we do now? I don't know. I'm um, I don't know. I think we have to we have to sleep here and continue tomorrow. <sighs> what? Are you angry? Eh? Okay. Go ahead. Shout! Scream! Scold me! Call me names! I have never called you any bad name since we started this journey. The only name I have called you is Alice. That's the only name I've called you. I have not insulted you in any way. As for anger, I'm no longer privileged to use such emotions. It's no longer in my book. Hey! So, so no matter what I do, you won't get angry? You won't get angry? Eh? Uh -huh. what, what, what kind of a man are you? Eh? What kind of a man are you? What? What's in a bag? Sand. What shoes? No use. So you go around carrying things that have no use to you. Are you some kind of fool or something? Eh? Roaming around the bushes and track roads of this village looking for a foolish girl? Igbema is not a foolish girl. She wasn't and she will never be. And I will never remember her as such. She is a foolish girl. She's not a foolish girl. She's foolish. She's, She's foolish. Not. She is. What? Is she your mistress? Do 
you think I talk too much? Please, can you shut your mouth for some time so that we look for a place to, to, to rest? You have, you know, you talk to, to me. I didn't say that. Hey, hey. So I'm talking too much, Kwaya. You say that. No, 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 no. I'm talking too much, Kwaya. Anyway, I don't blame you. I blame myself for volunteering to show you the way. You did not volunteer. You said this thing leads to your to, to your village, and you are going that direction. So how can you call it volunteer? What if I lied? Yeah. Okay, Olu. Come now. I thought you said we have missed our way. Do you know that is that not the right direction? Fine, if you said that's the way, let us go. That is the way. Come, let us go now. If you are happy, you are It's dry meat. This is the only thing I can find in my basket to eat. I know you're hungry. I see. Thank you very much. <laughs> what did you give to me? Stone! <laughs> you gave me stone. <laughs> what were you expecting it to be? Hmm? We have been on this journey together. Did you see me branch off anywhere to, to, to get meat? Careful, low, before you hit me. It's a joke now. Ah, can't you take a joke? Selfish man. Hmm? I got you there. I got you there. We have been on this journey. Did you, did you ask me if I want to eat anything or if I've eaten anything? I'm sorry. You should be sorry. You should be sorry. You better be sorry. Alice! 
Please. What is it? Can't you do without me? Or are we twins? The sand. What sand? The sand in the, in, in the black uh, 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 bulletin bag. The one that you said was not important to you? Yes. I threw it away. You what? Don't you ever grab a lady like that. Do you think I'm a man like you? Okay, whatever happens, please, 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 show me where you threw it away so I can collect it. Please. That sand contains my life. Selfish. Selfish. Always about you, not so. Look, that sand also means the repose for someone's spirit. Someone so dear to me. Please, I beg of you. Show me why you threw it away so I can collect it. What manner of a man are you? The one who pleads with, with one that has hit him and caused him so much discomfort. I'm a man who acts out of experience. Here is the sun. I lied. I didn't throw it away. Oh! Oh! But when I, when I woke up and I, you were still there snoring, I, I decided to go, go with the sand. Something told me you would come for it. And in doing so, you will find me. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh. Why, why is it so important to you? Like I said, it means the repose for the soul of someone so dear to me. Someone I regard so highly. Someone I can never forget. But unfortunately. Ah. Thank you for getting me this sun back. Ah. Alice, if I bogey, if that abogi exists on this earth, I must get there today. Yes. So what next? May your gentle soul and spirit be at rest now. You who roam the earth. May your spirit be at rest now. Yes, you have to hurry back to your land. Because as we speak, your wife just put to bed to a very handsome male child. My wife? How did you know that? How did you even know my wife was pregnant? Papi, you're a very good man. And your goodness has conquered your problems. I will let you be down. And forever, you will find good fortune on earth. I know you don't know who your companion has been on this journey. Ibama, 